I thought I would redo the gasket uh, trace out. I did this some time ago and I thought I'd pick it up one more time and now that the software has been updated we'll just see how much better it can get. I taped the gasket down to the drawing table and I'm using a cordless pen to do the tracing. And I'll be using John Walsh's 2013 Logic Trace CNC DXF program. This is a pretty straightforward trace, so there's really no need to do any editing. I didn't do any editing at all. With any luck at all, you should be able to take your DXF diagram right from the drawing board straight to a machine. In the case of the laser, this went right straight to the laser. I have done complicated diagrams that do require editing and that's because I broke the diagram up into parts and I had to separate the parts from the diagram using a node editor. But in this case, no editor required. A point to remember is that you can redo any part of this diagram by using the edit feature. Also, this gasket could be cut just using an X-Acto knife, but it's the whole diameter and the whole locations that need to be accurate, and that would be a bit difficult, be a lot of measuring. In this case here, using the drawing board, it just took five or six minutes to have the diagram. The software allows for a check on the hole diameter. When you draw the hole touching the three points, it echoes back a value, a percent value. That's where you check your hole with a micrometer and you type in the value that you want, the true value. This is where we get into the accuracy. As I said before, there's no need for any extra software here, no post processor, no node editor, 
the file is useful right straight to the laser because a laser takes a DXF file. It doesn't require a toolpath or a post processor file. The laser cut was about 50 seconds. After the cut, I laid the two pieces on top of each other and they were exact. I checked the holes right on.